Do you respect women? Absolutely. Why wouldn't I? Do you think that 18, 19 year old women are more attractive than 25 year old women? I think there's attractive people. Uh, that's, that's a loaded question. I don't know. Well, it's not really, is it? I, I can't. You know sit, why I'm asking you? Of course I do, but I can't sit well, here and for say. For the benefit of viewers who don't know why I'm asking, you said this. In general, this is also one of the reasons men find youth attractive. You want to block the internet? I'll block the internet right effing now. The reason 18 and 19 year olds are more attractive than 25 year olds is because they've been through less dick. People say, oh, you can't say that, but yes, I can. A 19-year-old is more attractive than a 26-year-old woman, and I'll tell you why. Because that 26-year-old has talked to more guys, been to the club more times, been effed and dumped more times, more arguments, more mess, more for me to clean up. That is misogyny. Why? Because you are encouraging a mindset about 25-year-old women that makes them sound out to be infinitely less desirable than 18, 19-year-olds, and having effectively been having too much sex to be taken in a more respectful way. That would, well, firstly, even if that was the case, that wouldn't be misogyny. Well, right? what did you mean by what you said? That's not misogyny because it's not anti-women. I'm, I'm saying that an 18 or a 19-year-old woman would be more desirable. It's pretty anti-25-year-old woman. Anti-25-year-old women, we can argue, but not misogyny. Well, that's misogyny, less, though, less, No, 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 it's not. Well, being anti any woman at all is misogyny. Not when, I'm, not when I'm saying that women are beautiful and attractive at a certain age and saying the age You're saying 18, 19-year-olds are more attractive than 25 Well, than ageist, perhaps, but misogynistic, absolutely is that not. Really, but you just accepted it was misogyny. No, I didn't. You said it was misogyny. I'm telling you, no, it's not. But if a 26-year-old woman is watching this and has heard those comments... Yeah. Would you just say to her, look, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. No, I won't. I will say that I am sorry that that offends you. However, there's a large contingent of the world... That doesn't and, mean you're sorry. Uh, no, I'm not sorry. That's the point I'm making. I'm sorry if that offends you. However, there's a large contingent of the world that believe that, and I was mediating for a conversation. Parts of the world that believe that about 26-year-old women are parts of the world where women are not allowed out on their own. That's, your, that's a conversation They have to now. wear full burkas. Well, that's a conversation They're not now. allowed to drive cars. That's nothing to do with me. But is that the kind of... Well, for a woman that you... I was, mediating a, I was mediating a conversation. No, I'm asking you what you think. I, I don't live in a country where that happens. You're using that as the excuse for why you're not sorry for saying it. It's not an excuse. Is that there are parts of the world where this is fine. My friend. So my question to you is, well, do you think it's fine? I don't think it's fine. I live in a world where... You don't think it's fine? My, the reason this I... This isn't that hard, Andrew. You can simply say, Piers, you know what? With the benefit of hindsight... I wish I hadn't said it like that. And if a 26-year-old woman is watching, I'm sorry I said that, because that actually is blatantly misogynist. And even though that's a view held by other parts of the world, it's not a view I share. Now, I would respect you more if you said that yeah. than if you try and say, well, it's said in other parts of the world, so I'm not sorry. I think you That need, doesn't tell me what you think. Then you need to understand why my content existed in the first place. My content existed because I tried my very hardest to be an absolute and not a realist, especially with uncomfortable truths. Mm. I was pointing out that very uncomfortable... Is that a truth? truth. It's an uncomfortable truth in many parts of the world. It's not a truth that I'm happy about. An inquest this week found that a 14-year-old girl, Molly Russell, died from an act of self-harm while suffering from depression and the negative effects of online content. The coroner said she was exposed to material that may have influenced her in a negative way, and in addition, what started as depression and become a much more serious depressive illness, and she very sadly took her life. That's, that's absolutely disgusting. Right. Her father... That's terrible. Her father's campaign for better protections against potentially dangerous social media algorithms, right? It says that the particularly graphic content she saw romanticised acts of self-harm, normalised her condition, and focused on a limited and irrational view without any counterbalance of normality. First of all, what is your response to that? Nothing to do with you. I'm yeah, just, just, your uh, that's the first thing. Yeah, it's, it is nothing to do with me. Uh, the fact that a 14-year-old girl took her life is truly sad. The world we live in today is... The world we live in... The, the fact that something like that happened is almost mind-blowing to me. That's truly, that's truly sad. I actually feel sad inside to see something like that. What has come clear to me in the interview is that a lot of things you say you wouldn't say now that you've said before... But I'd say them differently, perhaps. You, you, yeah, right. So... To me, that's an acceptance, not just that you want to get back on platforms, because maybe that was one of the reasons you, you were no platform, but that you've recognised and understood the potential harm to the wrong kind of impressionable mind by some of the things you've said. Would that be fair? I think that's 80% fair. I recognise and understand that with massive fame, you have to be more careful about being mis construed. Like I said earlier, 1% of people misunderstanding you doesn't matter with a small audience. It matters with a very large audience. With power comes responsibility. Mm. I still believe the things I say. I do not want to be a negative force for the world. I also understand that I am a man who's lived a very difficult, nuanced life, and I am capable of making nuanced points that may be misunderstood by teenagers. 
However, that can be said about anybody and everything. Every opinion online can be misunderstood by children. Trying to protect children from the internet is a very interesting subject in and of itself because I would argue that 80% of the content on the internet is, can be negative or detrimental to a young mind that doesn't understand the world.